This by far is the biggest cloth and paper haul I've ever done. Um, I will say that this did take a couple of orders from cloth and paper. It wasn't one giant big order. At first, I wasn't sure if I was gonna do a haul and then I, as I ordered more things, I thought, you know what? I kind of want to share everything I got and also ideas on how I'm going to use them. Let's start with the stickers because I bought a lot of the same thing, but in different colors. So um, these, so these are time blocking stickers. These are going to fit in the cloth and paper time blocking notebook that came in, I can't remember which um, subscription boxes came in, but I bought a bunch of these because I just wanted to stock up. I do have plans on using this weekly schedule for next year, but each pack I believe comes with different colors. So this first one, um, you'll notice that the stickers have the same width of the columns. These are the different colors in this pack here. Wow, Tuscany is bright, wow. So you have Tuscany, Cafe Noir, Cortado, and then Crepe. So that pack there comes with those four colors. This next one here comes with Angora, Vert, Matcha, Ooh, that's a cute one. And then Olive, I think this is my favorite one. I mean, I haven't even seen this third one yet, but I'm vibing with this one here. We have Saddle, Linen, Stone and Nude. I feel like this set of stickers here is pretty standard for cloth and paper. Um, I've recognized some of the names of these colors, but I, I think my favorite would have to be that second set. That one I have to remember to pick up more of. Maybe when they're doing another last call, hopefully these stickers will be a part of that last call. So I picked up a set of drop stickers. This is a new shape. Um, I've seen a couple of people use this shape. This sticker pack is in the color Verona and it comes in different sizes. So we have a like small drop we have a medium size drop and then we have a large size drop and then there are two more sheets that give you just a couple more rows of small medium and large drops first time using these um, hopefully I like them I, I do like that it is something different it isn't just the same dot stickers um, but Maybe in the future, I will pick up more of these just in different colors. Last but not least are these spotlight stickers. I have never ever used spotlight stickers, but I like the idea of using this in my monthly overview and placing the spot sticker on a day, the number, um, highlighting that I have something going on that day. So that's kind of the idea for these spotlight stickers. So I got these in the color pistachio. I love green. And then we have linen. Cloth and paper's linen comes off as like pinkish. And then this one here, I'm gonna open this one up because when I saw this online, it looked like it came with three different colors. So I'm gonna see. Oh, it does. Okay, so we have Ristretto here, this color, and these are small, avant-garde, and then we have Kyoto, which these are large spotlight stickers, so you can see the size there. In this set, 
you get pistachio, but in small, medium, and large size, and then same thing with the linen. So I think it was just this set here that came with three different colors. And in a fun way, they kind of go hand in hand. I could see myself using all three in a monthly overview. I love it, it looks so cute. I can't wait to use these. I think next I want to go through or sticky notes. <laughs> I've been dying to get these and just never pulled the trigger. I got them in three different colors, ephemera, linen, and fawn, definitely my colors right now. With these sticky notes, you get a transparent version and then a matte version. So if you look closely here, there are two sets. And then I also picked up this one here that just says memo. I think with this set of stickies, I am gonna put in my actual planner in the credit card slot. I'm running low with the one that I have in there, so that's why I picked up this one. But absolutely love, I'm so glad I finally got my hands on these. Cannot wait to use. Okay, so this is kind of a big deal because I kind of picked up a planner. <laughs> like, why would I need this? I already have a planner. Um, but I am obsessed with this cloth and paper vinyl cover. Like, this is just gorgeous. And then there's a, um, this, there's a pocket back here. Because what I'm gonna do is use this, create a disc bound planner. And then I'm gonna slide the back panel here in this back pocket. And so the reason I'm obsessed with this whole like clear cover, clear planner thing is because you can have some really, really pretty layering moments. And I think that is what excites me about having a planner like this. Um, no, I'm not changing my current planning system, but I figured this would be something that I could maybe use for next year. The, when I purchased the cover, it came with this here, but it didn't come with disc. So I had to purchase this separately. This here is 0.75 inches, which is not very big. I was hoping that they'd have something bigger. But then again, I don't know how I'm gonna be using this next year. I just wanted to have these just to have them on hand. And then this here is the 0.5 inch, which these are really small in comparison to these. So not quite sure which one I'll use. I might not use either one. I might have to go with something bigger. I think I picked this up in CP Petite. I might have to get this in an HP Mini because it is just so pretty. I think you could have a really great layering moment with these. And then I also snagged these cleaning inserts, which this was part of Cloth and Paper's final last call sale. So I got these for really cheap, but I got them in the size HP Mini because like I said, I plan on possibly using this for 2024. This is like a weekly overview of your chores. At the very top, you have the week of, then you have a section here for your daily chores. So this is just like things that I do every day. That would be things like cleaning the kitchen after eating, cleaning up Shelby's toys, that's like stuff that I do every day. So I would list that here. Over here to the right is seven columns, the seven days of the week. I would check off here when I complete it. And then in the middle section here, we have bullet points and it's for pretty much every day of the week. So maybe this is more like specific. I actually released a video about how I keep a tidy home. Mondays, I like to do laundry. Tuesday, I like to vacuum. Wednesday is my break day. Thursdays, I clean the living room and the bathrooms slash kitchen. And then Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays are no cleaning days. 
So that's, I think, essentially what this section here would be used for. And then I have a note section here at the very bottom, which would most likely be if I have something going on, like something special going on, maybe travel plans. So I could see this replacing the monthly overview that I'm currently using. So I think this is gonna be really cool for next year. I picked up some new inserts for my A56 ring. Um, I picked up two of these, which I kind of wish it didn't come with the dashboard because I really don't need it. I already have one. So I might just give that away. The reason I purchased two of these is because I am obsessed with this weekly overview. Like this is currently what I am using. It runs Monday through Sunday and the time slots. It runs from five to 9 p.m., which is exactly when I start and end my day. This pack here does not last the entire year. And then the last pack of inserts is this wish list insert. And this was actually part of their um, last call. They're discontinuing this. My husband and I, we purchased a home about a year and a half ago. And in that time, we've had a baby and I put decorating the home, buying furniture for the home on hold since we found out that we were pregnant. So the goal with this is to kind of just list out all the items that I want to purchase for our home, like the things that I know I want to buy, the things that I've been looking up online, but obviously I just haven't pulled the trigger yet. I'm going to list the items here and this is going to help just get those items on paper, right? I know exactly what the price is, where to purchase it, if whether or not I have bought it. I think this is going to be a great starting point. I picked up a bunch of pens too. The first one I want to show you is the Sarasa Dry. This is a 0.4 nib. So this is a fine point. Now at first I wasn't too crazy about this because it kept skipping, but look at this. Like it is so pretty. I love, 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 love the way that it writes. Um, and then on top of that, it dries immediately when you put the ink to paper. I also like that there's a grip here that I didn't add this. It came with the pen. So I don't know, this one is honestly turning into like my everyday go-to pen. I was using the Tombow Fudineski brush pen because I write in cursive, but I also write in cursive in this one and it still looks really, really pretty. So I'm gonna keep using that in the meantime. And then I also picked up the Uni pen in 03. For this pen being 03, it comes out looking pretty damn thick. Like that looks like an 08. The reason I picked up this one is because this is an oil-based ink. So remember those sticky notes that I showed you earlier, um, the ones with the tabs? how it comes with transparent stickies and then matte. Well, oil-based ink dries on the transparent ones. So that's why I picked this one up. The next pen that I picked up is the Zebra Sarasa R in 0.4. This kind of just feels like a normal pen, not anything too special. Um, I will say that I do like the Sarasa Dry more just cause now that I have this grip, it's just so much easier to write and I tend to like write pretty dang hard. So this one, like, I don't know. I, it's like, I don't have much stability when I'm writing with this one. And then this one here, I think these are the same pens, but I got them in two different colors. Like I got one in black and then white. Um, I think white pens look really pretty with the Filofax that I'm using. So kind of like what I said about the last one, um, about the Sarasa R, I don't have much stability with this one because I don't have like any grip here and it is a smaller pen. 
Um, but I do find that pens like this, it's easy to write. I do like how that writes. Like that looks really pretty. It has that fine, minimal look that I like. Um, but I just don't think that these pens here are great for if I'm writing in cursive. So yeah, I almost forgot that I picked up these pens. I've just been using them since my order came in, getting used to these pens. That is it for today's haul. I am so happy with all of the items that I picked up. Um, I can't wait to share how I use these items, how I use the inserts, um, if I do end up using an HP Mini for 2024, who knows? I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye.